Hello everyone, welcome back to The Binding of Isaac Anti-Birth with me, Flick, an early morning recording. I'm not sure if I'm ready for it, so prepare yourselves, let's do it. Let's see what happens. Ooh, okay, so we have the Converter, two Spirit Hearts, and the Quarter. TBBG E8CK is the seed. Our damage is above average, our speed is very slightly above average. Range seems fine, shot speed is a bit low, tier rate is a bit low. But because... Oh, we have a pill. Paralysis pill. No trinket. Oh, for goodness sake. <laughs> well, this could just be the end of this one right now. So don't get attached to it, just in case. Uh, we might... Yeah, we should drop nine lives. That'd be perfect. Nope, never mind. If we get a bunch of spirit hearts... Oh, we start with no bombs. That's a fantastic room, though. If we accumulate lots of spirit hearts, we could, if we want to, use the converter to change them into red hearts instead. Is that at all worthwhile? Yes, this early. Why? Because when you have nothing but spirit hearts, every deal with the devil is three spirit hearts, regardless of the item it is. If you have hearts, you can get one heart deals, and there's plenty of good one heart deals. But, we would need to accumulate a lot of spirit hearts. I think it's... Oh, never mind. It's three spirit hearts you convert into one red heart, but we're not going to do that anymore. We're not going to take mom's pad either. We're instead going to take the d6, and now I care whether this run ends early, because we have a d6 Eden run, and that is interesting. And that battery is perfect, so we can reroll mom's pad instantly. Oh. Better not use that pill, just in case. Revenge fly is brilliant. Uh, that might be a bad trip. Yeah, I shouldn't take it until... Uh, until, at the very least, we get a bomb. I'll hold on to it. Actually, no, I don't want to hold on to it, because if we get a bomb, I have a use for this Temperance card as well. We definitely want to get into our shop, obviously. Because we have so much money. Spirit Heart would be a given. Bomb would be a given. Key would be fine. Ah, uh, that red paste thing. I believe... Gives you a severe damage up, but then drains, and there wasn't a bomb for sale. There's options is an intriguing find this early. If I don't get a single bomb, I'm going to be very annoyed. It's not going to affect our chances on the boss, because if I get hit on the boss, then Revenge Fly will tear it apart. But there's a lot more money we can get, and uh, a Tinnadrock, if we had some bombs, or a bomb, not even some, just one. You did it, fly. Now you die. Bomb. Ah. Well, we might get a bomb from the boss. Didn't we fight Blighted Owen last time? It's not the same recording session, as you can probably tell, because I said it was early in the morning. But we definitely ran into him on my last recording session. Bomb item. Oh, we get a choice, right. Um... Speed and range or HP. I'm actually going to take the HP because I want some red HP to trade away on the next floor. And we have done everything we can on this floor and there's no bombs. I could use the pill, I suppose. Now it's not so bad if it's a bad trip. So let's see if it had caused me problems or not. Didn't get a single bomb. Ah, speed up. That's pretty good. Because it's seller and because I'm playing hard mode, it can be forgiven not getting a consumable of some type on the first floor. But it's annoying that the shop didn't even have one. That is... It's not unheard of, it's just rare and annoying. We can make back some time now, at least by having a basement floor. What is this? Well, now just let... Did that fire hit me? I'll just let Revenge Fly handle the rest. I've never seen this room before, though. Thank you. Go get him, Revenge Fly. a boy. Yeah, pretty sure I've never seen that room before. Well, that's good to know that's there, I guess. 
Curse room, it all depends what kind of situation we're in by the end of the floor. Another one of these. That one died a lot quicker. Whoa! That did not move in a manner which I would call natural. Alright, so we re-rolled the poop into Tiny Toma. It's not a great re-roll, but there won't be enough rooms on the floor to get a, another one. And it's not terrible. I'll tell you something, I'm glad I took the HP. Never really hoping that the deal with the devil has nine lives in it. I ooh, ooh, I really don't like you. We did actually get another reroll, which is surprising to say the least. I don't think there was a tinted rock. Humbling bundle would be good, but staying alive would be better. We might get some more cash from the boss, depending on what it drops. Oh, after Blighted Oven we get Gemini, that's intriguing. If nine lives isn't in the deal with the devil, we can only take something that would also give us HP, otherwise we die. So Abaddon or the Pact, the Mark. You stay over there. You're not staying over there. No means no. Plus one to our lowest stat or damage in HP. We'll take the damage in HP. Maybe should have done the deal with the devil first, because if nine lives is in here, then I only got 0 0.58 damage. Ooh, little brim. We had little brim last time. And we're going to have it this time as well, because I need the damage. Could have rerolled it. Should I have? Hmm, don't know. I don't think there's anything else I can do on the floor. As I say, I, there might be an attempt to draw a okay. Curse of Darkness vexes me. <laughs> I hate looking for Tinted Rocks in Curse of Darkness. Yeah, this is the type of version of this room I normally anticipate. I don't anticipate uh, gurgling. But anyway, as we know from last time, because we had a little brim then too, he can carry us through most of the, the start of the game with his damage. Our damage isn't bad, it's, it's not as bad as the last run where we had him. But because my HP is not in a fantastic place, it helps that I can engage from across the room. Nope. Case in point. If we do eventually get hit, obviously we still have Revenge Fly, which is another source of more than my damage. We roll. PhD we will take. We immediately got a full health pill, which is irrelevant, but that means no bad pills. There's still neutral pills, but there's no bad ones. And there we go, and then zap them. So, because we got that, we're getting a lot of batteries, I just realised. Because I just got that battery, I could have rerolled PhD and still had time, probably, to have another reroll ready for the boss. PhD is good, though. I don't even think it's like a compromise to take it. It's not as good as it used to be because the dumbasses at Nicholas or Ed felt that PhD should also still give you neutral and some would argue still bad pills, even though the thing it's supposed to do is take bad pills out of your rotation. This we don't have to worry about retrovision and anti-birth. sense. I'd like it to be greed. Ooh, birthright. So we just get a random item as Eden. Sure, randomly, baby. 
Scapular. All right. Not bad. Red chest or gold chest? Gold chest. I will do it. I totally forgot about potentially using the one bomb we had at the last floor to maybe get enough from the machine to get Tumbling Bundle. It, it would be very, very lucky for one bomb to pay out from the, the donation machine. Like, how much did I need? Like, seven cents? That's, that would be unheard of, I think. Right, that wasn't too long and we got stuff we needed, so that's good. Boss? No. <clears throat> oh, you've gone and done it now. Wait, did that do a full heart? Because I still had full health, right? Which was three hearts. The hell? I didn't get contact damage. Huh. Strange. Oh, you've gone and done it now, peep. Oh, screw your cheating eyes. Um, speed and damage. Could have rerolled the choices, actually. But we're just going to need to go down. If we touch a champion, we're dead. Or rather, if a champion touches me. I'm not going to go out of my way to do it. But if we find... Oh, wait, no. If we find our shop, that's no good to us either. We need Tinnadrox. Especially now that we actually have bombs. Maybe a Clutch Magic Mush or just some good pills. Ooh, that's borderline too much speed. Remember on the first floor when we had all those tinted rocks and we haven't seen one since? I'm not saying there hasn't been one since, just not seen one since. Tinted rocks, nope. Now of course it's giving us tons and tons of, this could be a secret room here actually. Tons and tons of bombs. Well, at least we know there's a reroll if we live to the item room. This could be the item room here actually, so let's use another one. Wrath. There is a tinted rock in here as well. Alright, we doubled our HP and got a key, not too shabby. I think Tiny Thomas saved me from contact damage there, because I didn't realise it actually knocks back things it touches. Double bomb room. Well, wait, as I was just saying, we have more bombs than I need right now. So, sure. That means it's an Isaac's bedroom. If it's a clean bed, we can get ourselves three spirit hearts. It is, so we'll do that. Nice. Did it convert my black heart into a spirit heart too? And because it's a clean bedroom, we're a guaranteed crawl space, which is a... Oh, I thought it was also a guaranteed black market, but no, it's not. So that's actually fine. Do I want to re-roll this? No, actually, no. We'll, we'll take sissy long legs. Occasional spiders is fine by me. Plus, I like this facial expression. I'm so glad I didn't re-roll Little Brim. I think that's the third time we've had that room layout. Different number of champions each time, but we've had it three times. Alright, item room, what you got? The bean, we roll... a sack of pennies. We can do better than that. I also want to try for magic mush slash a pill. There's further proof that we don't need sack of coins. We're sack of pennies. I mean, we're getting plenty of money. Just 
Just read this bit. It's also rude to not be dead yet. Thank you. I had been tempted to just use the Emperor card, but um, now that I know it's champion. Actually, you know what? Now that I know it's champion peep, hell no. That's way too irritating. Dirty Junior is much more manageable. Right, we'll take the HP and luck rather than just HP, thank you. Hopefully to trade it away. Nope, because it's Krampus. Wasn't expecting Krampus this time. Usually I can call it, but nope, didn't expect him. Of course he drops Krampus' head. The room might stay open. Was there a battery? Wait, we haven't found the shop yet, so... Oh, and there is a battery. There's a battery in the item room. Eh, uh, the secret room, I mean. So that means if the deal with the devil stays open again... We can re-roll Krampus' head. I think it re-rolls from the entire devil pool. In other words, it won't guarantee re-roll into Lump of Coal. But if it does re-roll into that, that's fine. I would take Lump of Coal. Bomb. Goodbye, troll bomb. Any tinted rocks in here? Nope. So there wasn't a battery in here. We will. We don't need the bombs really, so we'll buy this. I can see forever. We'll save for the next floor. Since we've already found the secret room on this floor. I know it makes us find the second secret room, but I'm not too concerned about that. So we go through here. We actually only needed one more room of combat. Just debating the secret room. Ah, uh, by which I mean curse room. Let's try it. That's what I expected. Alright, please still be open, deal with the devil. I would greatly appreciate being able to reroll Ooh, Krampus's head. Uh, let's blow up some of these mushrooms. Stayed open. And there's your proof it doesn't just reroll Krampus items, so Oculus Rift for the second run in a row as well. <laughs> oh, someone did request in a recent Isaac run that went live that I should go the show route just for to make things different. I will try and remember to do that now. Just for variety's sake. That means I need to take the negative after killing Mom, and then obviously live through show, go to the dark room, and we can fight the lamb. As opposed to Blue Baby. Health up? Yeah, we'll use that. Oh, I can see forever we'll use two. Hello, Great. Well, at least if you're in here, I think that means the shop is fine. Although, maybe if Super Greed is there, it isn't. Nah. We will use a bomb and a key and a key to get this chest. And we got two keys and three bombs back, so we made a profit. Get destroyed. Is Oculus Rift working on Little Brim? No, I think it's purely my tears. Yeah, every so often I fire a black one. That's the one that summons the black hole. Could have guessed it. in here. Second secret room up here is very strange. And we don't have a trinket, so sure, we'll take Callus, and now we don't need to worry about walking on spikes. It was super great, damn it. We still have one more shop, so all is not lost in terms of spending our money. And now we have even more of it. Hell, this is kind of following the last recording session. I'm sure we'll get money equals power, and then I won't want to spend anything anyway. Uh, let's blow up like these three, and then these three. Alright. 
So the boss and the item room are still to be found. That's quick. Item room. Oh, curse room. And a tinted drop. With that, we will use this to go into the curse room, get nothing again. <clears throat> well, okay, I know we got some flies. Was that worth what I wasted? Not really. The black hole drew that soy milk shot into me. Ah. I really don't like guillotine. It's a damage up and a tears down, but I hate that it changes my hitbox. So that has made the run substantially worse. In terms of, I'm going to take more damage now because I'm going to be looking where my head is, not my body. This is not Mom, although we're done on the floor anyway. Hanged Man? Yeah, sure, we can use that in here to do stuff. There's a full health pill. Two spare hearts. Where? It's even... I, I just realised my body is invisible when I use the Hangman card. Emperor instead of full health, yes. Follow the body, follow the body, follow the body. One and three deal with the devil chance. We don't know what we're picking up. Caffeine pill. Oh, it gave us a luck up. So actually that's fine. Heat. Not knowing what items are available, especially when you have those options, especially when you have the D6 on top of that. It's like everything is conspiring, just make sure you can't use one of your your best possible spacebar items at all. Justice we just use. So take the negative, take the negative, take the negative. Why was I worrying about that spike when I have callus? I missed the key. Ooh, a devil beggar, eh? We can play you a little bit. I'll be back. Hmm. Scapegoat is okay, and it's been a while since we've had it, so I kind of just want to take it. So he will draw aggro and enemies will go after him rather than me. I will take the eternal heart, I don't want to take it yet because then it means I can't play the devil beggar. In that case point, last went right for him there, the poor little sod. Now we're actually getting to the point where we actually desperately need a deal with the devil where I can trade for something. Oh, I really don't like this room. Hermit will just go to the shop. Balls of steel, that's fine. Uh, this is our last shop, so we can spend freely. Get wedged in. I can't tell for it. Oh, I had it. There we go. Alright. Too fast for my own good there. Caffeine pill also makes you lighter. Because you poop yourself. Oh look, this room again. What if this is guaranteed to be a uh, hermit card? Not hermit card, the flying one. It is. It is guaranteed to be a hangman card. Interesting. We're not taking flat penny because we don't need keys at this point. Oh, Paralysis, that well-known good pill, yeah. That's the kind of shit I'm talking about. The Lover's card is perfect. So now we need to get back to the Beggar. Speaking of things that are perfect, Little Brim is made for rooms like this. Beggar's been moved slightly higher up, I think. He paid out with experimental treatment, which I'm absolutely not taking. Reroll it. Tiny planet? Sure. Sure. Oh, 
love broken rooms. They'll never fix that room. So the only reason I took Tiny Planet is because I think with the black hole effect it's actually going to be pretty good. I could be wrong, but if I am wrong we have Revenge Fly and Little Brim to fall back on, so it doesn't matter. I think we're good to go. We had our final shop, we had our final item room. Oh, I forgot the Eternal Heart. Do I want the Eternal Heart? I guess... Take that. I love being forced to do the same room over and over and over and over. Why is there a card in here? I need the black holes to farm quicker. Sure, now I have Psychic Tiny Planet Black Hole Tears. Also, take the negative, take the negative, take the negative. Oh, there we go. Negative, 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 negative. Actually, because we're taking the negative, it doesn't matter as much to be on no red HP. We will take Gimpy, however. Um, Ghost Baby is a little bit of extra damage. Why not? I know we still have red HP, we have two more chances to get rid of it. Got to remember now, go to Shoal. Where is my pit box? It's perfect, so the blue and white one is Balls of Steel. That might come into play later, so got to try and remember that. It's a shame we don't have any mapping. But hey, we also have Gimpy now, so if I get hit that sets Revenge Fly on them, and Gimpy has a chance of potentially covering the damage. Not a very high chance, but a chance. So you're saying there's a chance. Scapegoat isn't a guaranteed kind of like plus, even though he does take aggro. It, because he takes aggro, enemies can react in bizarre manners. Anytime you want to poke your head up or... Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. okay. That is a boss of steel pill. And that is a tinted rock which will give a small rock. Or a chest and a spirit heart. Uh, that's the, like, the mega fart bean or whatever trinket. Don't want it. I like having immunity to spikes. I also love finding dead ends. I think that might be my favourite part of this game, every time I find a dead end. That worked out. There isn't night room to worry about, so as long as we have a d6 charge, all I care about is finding the boss. Okay, well, we'll take the Empress card for the boss, we'll use it on the boss. Maybe. Depending on the boss. If it's an easy boss, I won't. If we get a deal with the devil naturally, one in three chance, that's fine. If we don't, we use the joker card and get one. Just nab that off you. I'm amazed I didn't get hit there. I think maybe Tiny Toma can block the shot again. Oh, we have a battery too. Excellent. Here's where we want. What? No. We don't really need to use the Empress for this. Don't know what we're taking. We didn't get to deal with the devil. Let's take this one. Pentagram. Nice. Alright, well... Ah, but if I force the deal with the devil on this floor, I don't know what I'm picking up. Hmm. Nah, let's use it anyway. Something for two? Sure. I have the occult, it's good. Wait, controlled plus tiny planet? Oh, I'm not sure about that. Hmm. 
maybe ruined, maybe made better? Like, it's Tiny Planet, but they're not orbiting me. I can steer them. Hmm. Alright, let's try it against enemies. That's the best way to test something. Although the only problem with steering is it makes it a little bit more... Eh, not that much harder, but a little bit more annoying to charge and fire a little bit in a set direction that I want. Because if I'm concentrating on steering my tears, I'm not concentrating on the direction he's facing. It seems better, though. Kinda. They are still sort of orbiting, so I don't have full control over them. It's weird. Leave it at that for now. Oh yeah, I found another dead end. That's the good stuff right there. Give me all your dead ends. See, also a case in point there. Dingo shot at me first, then shot at Scapegoat, and then shot at me again. So it was very hard to judge his movements as a result of that. It kind of just lingers as well. That's weird. Can I, can I get after him? <laughs> if you're looking at this and thinking I have full control over my tears, rest assured I do not. I sort of have control of my tears. We have a tinted rock in here. No, we do not. Why am I suddenly getting so many versions of that room now that I pointed it out? <laughs> yes, come over here into my orbiting tears of death. Gotta be the boss down here. Petrified poop this late in the game? Not really. I, I kind of like being immune to spikes. It helps on the Euro floors for sure. The unfortunate thing about the Oculus Rift black holes as well, the, the black tiers have to make contact with something to summon the black hole. We will use this, the Empress, for this fight, rather. To speed it up a little bit, because I feel like getting in close is going to be difficult. I also can't tell where my body is, because there's too many things on the screen. Shoal, 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 shoal. It's been a while since I went this route. Might not live either, our HP isn't that great, and we've had no payouts from Gimpy. And our damage doesn't seem to be that great. Well, we'll be looking for tinted rocks. None there. Hoping to find Satan as soon as possible. But instead, we found a first dead end, obviously. Actually, isn't the last time I came here a Samson run and it crashed and I had to stop? It's a vague memory. How does this affect my tears? I don't think that makes them better. Oh, right, yeah, they added the Scythe dudes to the show. Oh, death. See, you've got some size there. The bomb fly went after scapegoat, not me. I was gonna say, my hope is my tears kill the horse, and that's what happened. Ah, a bunch of Stevens. 
this to make up for his lack of appearing on the basement? Hey, we got Gimpy to cover damage finally. Thank you. So many Stevens. Why can't you be called Frank? Then I'd have recommended employment for you. Didn't even drop one of the Steven items. Yeah, I think the the control tiers is 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 that a detriment? Wow, all they paid out with was two bad trinkets. One exceptionally bad given our setup. The crystal skull would teleport us out of the room every time I got hit because we have no red hearts. Say that one one still got wrecked, he had to be close. No, don't take the crystal skull. No, 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 no. It used to be a lot worse prior to being able to drop trinkets, let's put it that way. You used to screw runs unless you happen to very luckily get uh, another trinket quickly enough. This is a very nasty room for Shoal. This is kind of chest quality, I would say. That one on the right has to be close to there. Yeah. Apparently most of the health bar was his. There's a black hole in your crotch. You're welcome. Oh no. I remember this room. Thankfully, Scapegoat is making them open up to attack him rather than me. The black hole drew the shots into the direction I went to hide. Ooh, black hole. You were supposed to bring balance to the run. Instead, you're getting me hit. Yeah, we don't need the keys for the dark room. It's dead end as well. That's very often an item. It's been a long time since I've seen Cricket's head, and the most common place to get it is gold chests. Oh yeah, because we have the negative and I only have spirit hearts, every time I get hit it activates the negative effect. Which is the same as the Necronomicon, so room wide small damage. So essentially, even if we only have normal spirit hearts, it's as if we have nothing but black hearts. I don't know if the damage doubles up if you lose a black heart. I hope so. Uh, we have the bombs to spare. Let's try and get some spirit hearts going here. Alright, we've got two. That's above average, I would say, out of four fires. Yeah, go after escape. This was a dead end as well. I was so sure that I... Ooh, I mm. That's fine. Finding dead ends is the best part of the job. I hope I find even more. Anytime you want to spawn and jump. Uh, Curse from this late, can't do it. If Callus let you walk into Curse rooms, actually I don't know, maybe it does, but I'm not going to risk it because I don't know. We did find Satan. Uh, maybe second secret room there? Or normal secret room there, that'd be... Oops. I think I still would have got it. Stay still. Well, getting Revenge Fly out early is actually probably a good thing. Oh, black holes are not doing good things to his attacks. 
I wasn't anticipating that. Revenge fly is kicking his ass. Now we circle strafe and hope the bomb flies don't spawn on us before he dies. Alright, Dark Room. An even worse version of the chest, where you get red chests at the start rather than gold ones. That does mean we might get some spare hearts, but it probably means we're getting spiders. Or bombs. Pills is actually potentially good. We don't really need a speed up at this point, though. Oh, two speed ups. Well, yeah, we're max speed. You can still get normal items. What the hell is this room? You can still get normal items just from clearing rooms. They look like red chests, but they pay out like gold chests. If you've never seen the dark room before. I don't know what's hitting me right now. This is not a good room. It's also not a base game one. This is an anti birth one, I think. I don't know where any enemies are. Oh, hello. Christ. Die. Die. Give me an item as well. It's not an item. Oh, it's a curse of giant dark room? We're screwed. Giant rooms in the dark room are not balanced at all. There's one that's like six mega fatties or something. Although maybe that was afterbirth, not rebirth. I need to get rid of the eyes. Thanks for covering that, Gimpy. Alright. You can just kill at range, I guess. Can we? No, we, we can. I asked that as a question, it's a statement. We can. Don't know what hit me, though. Probably the black hole drawing one of his shots beyond his maximum range. That's great. Oh, and now we have a boss that can just randomly hit you. This is what I'm talking about. We're gonna die in here. Because his feet will hit me before I move. Even with max speed, I don't think I can avoid it because it's glitched. I will circle straight and hope for the best. It's when he does the quick stomps. That it can just randomly decide that you've been hit before the foot drops. Actually, no, no it's not quick stomps. It's the single stomps he does sometimes. Yeah, Curse of the Giant screwed me. Yeah, maybe maximum speed is enough to avoid the glitch. Still doesn't help anything though. And we didn't get a single item either. If we'd had a normal dark room where it wasn't Curse of the Giant, I, I don't know for sure we'd be fine. But we'd definitely be doing better. Let's put it that way. Still can't guarantee we'd obviously get any items, even with one luck. Is the heart not dead yet? Oh, there we go. Now the heart's dead. Dead end. Nice. Oh, that'll do it. He got knocked into me by... I don't know if it was my tier or Black Hole or... Actually, no, Scapegoat was below me. He changed target to Scapegoat. That was a collection of items that guaranteed the loss combined with a giant floor. But hey, at least I went to the Dark Room for the first time in a while. It is just a worse chest, if you aren't familiar with how it is. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you next time. Ta-ta for now.